Are you going to take a plane? Here's what to do to feel relaxed. The day before you leave, prepare the bag or small suitcase you'll carry with you on the plane. You can take your favourite cuddly toy, if you have one, games or activities to do on the journey and something warm to wear if you need it. On the departure day, there's often a long wait at the airport. That's when you can move, run or jump if you feel like it, because it isn't possible to do that on the plane. What's it like on the plane? You'll be greeted by people wearing uniforms. They are the stewardesses and stewards who are part of the plane crew. You'll settle into your seat next to the person you're travelling with. There's a seat belt, like in a car. There's a locker above your head for your bag or suitcase. What happens during takeoff? Takeoff is the moment when the plane leaves the ground and starts to fly. You must stay in your seat and fasten your seat belt. The engines make a lot of noise. The plane goes faster and faster and then rises up in the air. Through the window you can see the sky, the clouds and the landscape from very high up. What is it like during the flight? During the whole flight, you must follow instructions when you're told to stay in your seat and fasten your seat belt. Each time, a little panel lights up and makes a sound. When the plane goes up or down, your ears sometimes feel a bit blocked, like when you drive through the mountains and it can be a bit unpleasant. So that your ears don't bother you too much, you can suck on a sweet or your thumb or your dummy, you can have a drink or yawn. You can take your shoes off to feel more comfortable, but you need to wear socks or slippers because you can't walk with bare feet in the plane. The air isn't hot, but it's important to drink regularly because it's very dry. You can ask to go to the toilet, all airplanes have them. If you need to feel calm or go to sleep, you can wear headphones or earplugs so that you don't hear the noise of the plane so much. And if the light bothers you, you can wear a special mask over your eyes. If you aren't feeling well, if you have belly ache or feel sick, tell the person you are travelling with. She or he will find a way to make you feel better with the help of a crew member. From time to time, if you want to stretch your legs, you can walk in the alleys, as long as the instructions allow it and you don't bother the other passengers or the crew. You can also do little gym exercises or relaxation movements in your seat. What is it like on the long journey? To pass the time, you can play, read, listen to stories, do activities. There is often a screen in front of your seat to watch videos or play games. If the journey is several hours long, passengers are given meals on a tray. At night time, there is less light in the plane and you can sleep. You should keep your seatbelt fastened. That way, you won't have to be woken up if you're asleep when you have to fasten it. Make yourself comfortable with a blanket, a pillow or your cuddly toy, if you have one. What is landing like? Landing is when the aircraft descends until it touches the ground. You must stay in your seat and fasten your seat belt. During the descent, there may be air turbulence and you feel the plane shaking, like in a merry-go-round. When the plane lands, it breaks strongly and the engines make a lot of noise. What's the arrival like? Sometimes you have to change clothes when you get out of the plane because it can be warmer or colder than when you left. If the country is very far east or west, you can feel the time difference called jet lag. which means you want to sleep and eat at times that are different in the country you're in. Fortunately, little by little, your body will get used to the new times. Did you know that? Children who are ill or have a disability can take the plane too. The airline company helps their parents to organise the journey and the aircraft crew is trained to look after them during the flight. 
Do you have any other questions? Talk about them with the person or the people traveling with you. Your parents can also find advice in French on the website sparadra.org/enfants en avion.